and welcome to the 2014 Medical Doctors Awards presented to you by Bonitas House Corps. We are at the spectacular International Convention Center in Durban to recognize and honor the doctors of South Africa for the incredible hard work, labor, and love that they invest into their profession. Like previous years, there's also been an expo and a conference where people in the medical fraternity have had the opportunity to mingle. Let's quickly see how that went down. It is indeed a pleasure and an honor to welcome all of you to the 10th SAMA Annual Conference. This is where the brightest minds meet to share their passion, knowledge and ideas. Who knows what breakthroughs have been inspired by simple conversations had at conferences like these. Here with me is Dr. Bobby Ramasia, who is the Principal Executive Officer of Bonitas Medical Fund. We would love to find out from you, what is the purpose of expos and conferences like these? This is for the sharing of ideas, sharing of information, exchange of information, advancement of health development and also being able to feed in people to be able to be innovative enough in the places where they practice healthcare or even where they are doing leadership issues that relates to healthcare. And what do you consider to be the benefits of having such a hub of the brightest minds in the country converging together? You bring everybody in one venue. People have got different experiences depending where they're located within the South African communities and what actually specialties they, they, they work in, we put that in one place, in one melting pot, and we come up with answers of how to deal with those problems. It's likely to bring good outcomes in terms of improvement in the services that are being delivered in this country. Because uh, really, um, one of the most important things that is missing in African countries is, is professional leadership. And, and these are the professional leaders. So by, by having them you know, sitting on the same table and talking, um, is, is very, very important when it comes to improving the access to health, quality health and health care for the people of South Africa. We bring a lot of academics who has the latest development in terms of research and publications. It's a platform of everything. It's a platform of trying to get it right, to correct, because without the healthcare system being orderly, you cannot grow your economy. You need a healthy nation to grow your economy. And that's why we're here today, to make sure that South Africa is a healthy nation. One of my wish lists as a principal officer is to ensure that those kind of good quality doctors that are observing uh, excellent referral systems where it's appropriate, they should be actually be uh, reimbursed within 24 hours of seeing their patient. In what ways does today's events tie into the award ceremony later tonight? Today's events actually tie in quite beautifully because you upskill the doctors to be able to practice efficiently and be able to actually deliver healthcare to the nation. You then identify amongst them those who have excelled and you want to thank them and recognize them so that even those who haven't reached that level should aspire to. To, to, to be recognized. What is your take on the future of South African health? The South African healthcare, it has a, a bright future. And I think with all those collection of centers of excellence, we can bring them home and harness them properly. Healthcare in South Africa will be actually take its rightful place and be the best place to be. The future of South African health is actually looking very bright. It's looking very bright. Yes, we have the challenges. Fortunately, the leadership in the health sector, particularly the Minister of Health, is the first one to understand the challenges that we face and what's, what roadmap we need, to, we need to follow. And the, and the answers are there, and we just need to implement the policies that have been outlined. And what are you looking most forward to about tonight? <laughs> oh, I'm looking forward to us actually showing the public what we have as a medical profession because unfortunately we have identified that we are losing the touch with the communities and people need to know that the doctor in this country is a very important uh, uh, profession.
Honourable Minister Mozzaledi, what are you looking forward to most about tonight's event? Well, I'm just looking forward to congratulate those who worked you know, beyond themselves, you know, beyond the call of duty. Uh, uh, being congratulated and being recognized is very important in this world, you know, for us human beings to know that what I've been doing, there are those who have been watching, there are those who appreciate. It, it gives people more strength to march forward. And what kind of difference do you think it makes to the medical world as a whole to have these sort of events honoring doctors? Oh, it makes a huge difference. In fact, we, we, we need to move further than this because it's very important to be recognized. We'd like to find out um, what was your opinion on today's well, events um, as a whole? Quality of life of our patients. We are all aspiring to have an improved quality uh, of our patients and uh, coming in together here is to encouraging us on those issues. So uh, we learned quite a great deal from the input that emanated from today's discussion. Samas and Bonitas have put themselves behind this event for several years now. Why is it so important to be a front runner in such a thing? Well, as Bonitas, doctors have always been people that are the nucleus of the business because without the doctors, without our members, we don't have any, any service that we are rendering. So today it's their day to ensure that we give them that recognition that appreciation that guys, we know you work long hours, you sacrifice so much of your family time. So if Bonitas, this is just our token of saying thank you, thank you, thank you. We look forward to coming to the Sama dinner. It's the occasion where we get to see who's the leading lights in our profession, who's collecting awards. And through to Bonitas, we are saying very, we are very happy for this event. For to an evening of fun. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your program director for this evening, Dr. Victor Ramatasele. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. I welcome all of you to the 2014 annual Sama Bonitas House Call Awards. This is an event that has become a very important item in many of the diaries of medical practitioners, policy makers, and many other people who are involved in the health of South Africans in general. And we take pride in being part of this particular event. Shall I take this opportunity then, at this point, and ask members of the audience to rise as we welcome into the auditorium the board members of the South African Medical Association. Gentlemen, I present to you the board members of the South African Medical Association. Thank you very much. These are the hosts of this event. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this event is a joint collaboration between the South African Medical Association, Bonita's Medical Fund, and Bonita's House Call Talk Show. Tonight, we are particularly pleased, and I have the singular honor and the privilege of welcoming into the podium the National Minister of Health of the Republic of South Africa, Dr. Aaron Muzaledi, MEC for Health in the KZN, which is the hosting province, Dr. Sbongseni Lombo, and members of parliament who have also graced this occasion, Mr. Eman Sheikh, Mr. Maisel, Dr. Maisela, as well as Mr. Matthias. Honorable Minister, we thank you for your time. We do really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to waste too much time. And at this juncture, I'm going to call upon the president of the South African Medical Association Trade Union, Dr. Popi Adamatuba, to say a few words to us.
Evening colleagues, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, uh, Program Director, <coughs> Dr. Victor Ramasir Tissel, uh, the former recipient of this award. Uh, one is quite humbled uh, to be standing in front of all of you on this August occasion. On behalf of the South African Medical Association, uh, usually when I speak in the presence of the minister and the MEC and the media, uh, most of the time I will be fighting, I will be a shop steward, I'll be angry that the revolution of the transformation of our health system in our country has lost direction. But contrary to that, today it's one of the day that is most critical in our annual calendar as the South African Medical Association, where we are here to celebrate our best. It is only today, that's why my special appreciation to Bonitas uh, House Call and SABC2, because at least out of 365 days, we will have one day that will be broadcasting about the good, because the doctors that we are awarding today, they are, we are awarding them on behalf of all of us. Uh, for you to just get admission to medical school, you are a win. You can't just get to medical school if you have not done well. For you to be able to complete a six-year degree with two years of internship, you are a win. For you to be able to furthermore specialize in some cases, it makes you a win. For you to be in the public service, despite all odds, it makes you a win. And we, we hope that those who are young doctors today, they will learn from those who are winning. And lastly, I just want to congratulate those of us who were selected amongst the best to be the best, best, to represent us for carrying the medical uh, flag in full uh, mast and all of, all of you for the good work that you, you continue to do. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the South African Medical Association, I'm told to welcome you in the South African Medical Association, which for this weekend has relo relocated to the kingdom. Thank you very much. Dr. Lamantuba, there are many things that you could do with your time. But I always appreciate the passion that you have in ensuring that the interest and the working conditions of the South African doctor are always catered for. And I always appreciate the ferocity with which you continue to fight this battle. You certainly have my support, and I'm sure I'm speaking on behalf of everybody in this house. One, one round of applause again for Dr. Popula Matu. Ladies and gentlemen, shall I call to the podium the Principal Executive Officer of Bonitas Medical Fund, our greatest partner in this event, Dr. Marumo Abel Bobby Ramasia. Over to you. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you very much to the Program Director, Dr. Victor Ramorese Ramatisili. So, obviously, as it's always the case, I must also, before I start, express my appreciation and thumpo to our Minister of Health, Dr. Aaron Mutualedi. Kise thumpo who, the MEC of Health, Mo Kozulu Natal, Ntate Zomo. Kise thumpo who, our guest, Dr. Margaret, Kise Lompo, who the person who brought us here, Ndade Khrodboom, Dr. Khrodboom, and Kise Lompo to our chairman of Bonitas, Dr. Rampedi, and Lompo to my colleagues from Bonitas, and also I must also honor my honorable colleagues, the professors that are here. And above all, I think I must also express my appreciation and thumpo to my colleagues, which are the doctors that you are gathered here for today. And 
As it's always the case so that I don't step on anybody's toes, all protocol is observed. And all those that I didn't mention by name, I sorry, I get it from you. I respect you and appreciate you all. It gives me a great pleasure, basically, to be here to welcome you in this gala dinner, which it is, has become one of the important dates in the Bonitas calendar. I'm going to keep my speech short because, I mean, you know, my father always tells me, don't stand between a man or a woman with his food. So I'll get to the point so that you can relax and enjoy for the evening. The summer conference, it has obviously given us and food for thought. And the content of the presentation has actually been professional. And I hope we have go, gained useful insight in what was discussed with regard to the future of the medical profession and as well as the healthcare industry as a whole in our country. Bonitas is extremely proud to be a platinum sponsor of this conference and of this event. And the reason why we invest in summer conference is because we are convinced that the healthcare professionals are key to the sustainability within the private sector industry in the South Africa and also in the country as a whole for the healthcare of all our people, those that are yearning so much to be part of the healthcare system in our country. Our vision is that we are able to build our relationship with the healthcare professions to the extent that we are able to work closely for the benefit of our members, our patients, and all our people in improving the outcomes and reducing the costs. As I've mentioned during my presentation yesterday, at the next summer conference, Bonitas, it will be introducing a much more enhanced leadership awards. And these awards will actually acknowledge healthcare professionals who take a lead in coordination of care in clinical leadership. Please look out for our communication that will be coming with regard to these rewards because I think we need to take the leadership role of our medical doctors to the next level. South Africa is fortunate to be served by the healthcare professionals. We have given themselves freely to ensure that our patients receive the best quality of care. I mean, you know about the history of, of Dr. Morocco, with Dr. Kuma, that have been medical uh, profession, professionals. So therefore, as Bonitas, we want to actually ensure that we keep that legacy going. And with that, I want to say thank you, and please let us enjoy the evening. Thank you very much, Dr. Ramasia. And I think the last point that you make is very, very poignant. Highlighting the role that medical practitioners have played not only in leadership of their chosen and noble profession, but in many other spheres of society, and citing some of the shining examples of medical practitioners who have made a difference in the lives of ordinary South Africans. He was born somewhere around the early 60s, and uh, I happened to bump into him somewhere in my medical training. I'm going to ask him to welcome us because this is his province, and at the end of his address, introduce the Minister of Health. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Dr. Maxwell Sibongsen is Komboso Shomo, member of the Executive Council for Health. Thank you very much, Dr. Ramatisa. This is actually a surprise uh, to our leader, the Minister of Health in the country, Dr. Aaron Mazzoledi, to the President of the World Health Association, um, that is uh, Professor Mungarere, uh, to Professor Dr. Ramatuba, our president in SAMA, all the leadership from SAMA executive doctors who are present here, Bonita's house call. I was not expected to be here, but good evening. 
Uh, mine will be to introduce our minister, but before I do that, just to say thank you very much. And it is actually true that there's many more doctors out there who are doing so much good that we probably fail to recognize. But let me then take this opportunity to say, the leader that leads this country and has done exceptionally very well since 2009 in health has been a leader even before, started as an MEC of various portfolios in Limpopo province, MEC for transport, MEC for agriculture, and he did exceptionally very well. And then in 2009, he was appointed our Minister for Health in the country, and currently he is a minister serving a second term in health. I think uh, we have never been so fortunate, some of us who have been led by a colleague who was three classes ahead of us, and he leads us with distinction. And all the good things that we're trying to do are the things that he has taught us. I now welcome uh, Dr. Aaron Mutualedi to come and address us. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here tonight to do one thing, to congratulate and salute those who have been recognized by the profession. And as far as I'm concerned, there's no bigger prize than that. I don't think there is any amount of monetary reward that will supersede recognition by your peers, by your own profession. In this medical field, there are two types of individuals. There are those who studied medicine, but there are doctors. These are different people, a doctor and those who studied medicine. And in my thinking, those who studied medicine will regret when the, the going gets tough. But doctors will never regret, and they will never quit, no matter how difficult the situation is, because they are doctors. And I want to believe these are the men and women who will be honoring today. Ladies and gentlemen, once more, I take this opportunity to congratulate our luminaries and say, please keep it up. I hope among us here, those of us who are not being honored tonight, we will feel the need to work, to do work beyond the, the call of duty, so that next year we'll all be lining up here for this prize. Dr. Ramatisela, Namingi Aifun and Dr. Please, man. Next time, think about me, man. I also want to be lining up here to receive some prize, man. Thank you very much. I'm now going to call upon the president of the South African Medical Association, Professor Dyer, to, to come up stage. Um, and begin the process. And Minister, shall I um, one more time ask you to, to come up to the podium so that we can line up and um, give the awardees the honor of being congratulated by yourselves before you leave. And then I will now hand over to Professor Dyer to do the first part of the awards. Thank you. Thank you. Greetings, friends. It's an absolute honor and privilege as the president of the SAMA to be recognizing our awardees who have given many, many years of sacrifice and service towards health care and beyond for people in our country. To start off with, I would like to call upon the current World Medical Association President, Dr. Margaret Mungera, to join me on stage to hand over the first awards. Gender Acclaim Award, made to a female colleague for outstanding contribution in a medical or non-medical field, where the individual had to overcome collateral difficulties including parenting, chauvinism, and other prejudice, such as race, color, creed, and sexual orientation, or where such contribution was at great personal sacrifice 
resulting in breakthrough contribution widely accepted nationally or internationally. Where such contribution has helped alleviate human rights abuse, apathy, indifference and disinterest. The winner of the Gender Acclaim Award is Dr. Osma Dineo Mbombo, posthumous. I would like to call on Dr. Funeka Madikiza to accept the award on behalf of Dr. Osmo Mbombo. I feel so grateful to have had the opportunity to pick up the award for Dr. Osmo Mbombo. She's been a mentor, she's been an example of a mother who sacrificed everything. Fellowship in Art and Science of Medicine Award. Iconic international footprint. International acclaim of excellence in the practice of medicine, both as an art and a science. This will be an exclusive group of members who have been endowed with the special privilege of being elected onto it for breakthrough contribution to medicine, for moving the frontiers of medicine forward, or widening the horizon in the greater understanding of medicine, both as an art and a science, fully acknowledging the philosophy and the ethical constraints of the profession as a whole, championing the cause of healthcare despite obstacles. The winner of the Fellowship in Art and Science of Medicine Award is Professor Mike Zetege. Unfortunately, Professor Mike Zetege is unable to attend this event as he's presenting in Cancun, and I am happy to accept the award on his behalf. I would now like to ask the president of the Sama Trade Union, Dr. Poppy Ramatuba, to please join me to hand over the next awards in the Medicine Award category. Dr. Ramatuba. Extraordinary Service to Medicine Award. Outstanding contribution to medicine in a dedicated field. The incumbent has pursued with single-minded purpose a chosen area of interest in medicine and has made a substantial contribution in the research promotion and advancement of that field. The work must extend beyond the ordinary terrain of medicine and extend into the wider community and nation. Publication of work in internationally accepted medical journals is a prerequisite. The winner of the Extraordinary Service to Medicine Award is Professor Jack Adiza, Jack Moodley. I am proud to call upon my teacher, my mentor, Professor Jack Moodley, to accept this award. Well, I'm really honored and humbled by the award. And this award uh, represents the work of other people who have been associated with and caring for women and their newborns. Lifetime Achievement Award. Dedicated and single-minded pursuit of medicine as a career with distinction. This is awarded to individuals who have given a productive lifetime of distinguished service to medicine, making the profession proud Loyalty, dedication, and professional conduct is worthy of emulation. The winner of the Lifetime Achievement Award is Dr. Ethne Frieda Schaefer. Dr. Ethne Schaefer, please join us on stage to accept your award. It's been an utterly amazing evening. It's like the cherry on the top of 40 years of service to God and the community and my patients. Spirit of Medicine Award. This award is made for extraordinary service to community or nation extending beyond the field of medicine. 
This is dedicated to doctors who have distinguished themselves both in the field of medicine and also in areas beyond in creating an enabling environment and or living habitat or working in the wider interest of mankind. Championing the cause of the poor, the indigent and dispossessed within a given ecosystem. For selfless service to medicine without a view for material gain or for displaying by precept and example that medicine is a calling and to be of service in the name of the profession, a special privilege. The winner of the Spirit of Medicine Award is Professor Robert Pulele. It is a real special privilege to award this Spirit of Medicine to Professor Robert Gulele. Having done work for so long, and you never thought anybody's watching. And uh, it's interesting to see that people do recognize that one has achieved up to now. Young Leaders Award. This award is made to an up and coming colleague in a research oriented environment. The candidate must be endorsed by an accredited research institute or university for a peer reviewed research program. This award will also be made to an individual on the recommendation of the public sector department to a colleague who is top student on both under and postgraduate or has extraordinary service to community. The winner of the Young Leaders Award is Dr. Matabo M.M. Shahani. Dr. Shahani is attending a conference in Kazakhstan and I'm happy to accept the award on her behalf. The Community Service Award. This award is in recognition of an individual who has selflessly provided underprivileged communities with innovative and humane healthcare over many, many years, despite extremely difficult working conditions. All in aid of providing underprivileged communities with lasting and meaningful healthcare where it is needed the most. And through these efforts, the honoree has in turn served as an educator, a mentor, and as a leader by improving the quality of healthcare within the community and in turn creating a greater quality of life to everyone the honoree has interacted with. The winner of the Community Service Award is Dr. Kwezi Koenig Madigiza, posthumous. I would like to ask Dr. Madikiza's daughter, Dr. Funeka Madikiza, to please join us on stage to accept this award on his behalf. I'm sure he wouldn't believe <laughs> that he had been nominated for a, for a prize. Sacrifice, difficult childhood, and uh, as a story written about him, difficult times. Community Service Award. This is awarded to an individual who has rendered yeoman service over sustained period of at least 20 years who has taken a leadership role in managing a specialized field of medicine and healthcare, for example, physically and mentally challenged, and who has rendered humane, innovative care under extreme trying conditions, be they in the face of poor or lack of facilities, or conditions calling for personal sacrifice in a rural setting for at least 10 years who has taken an educative and mentorship role in adding value to the health knowledge of a community. For example, growing own vegetables, maintaining good health, procurement of water, medicines, etc. The winner of the Community Service Award is Dr. Abraham Varghese. Dr. Abraham Varghese, please join me on stage to receive your award. Humble that uh, we received this award. It's not only for me; it is for the whole 
department of health malanga where is a rural province where i am working uh, mainly in the field of eye care sama award of the year this is awarded to individuals who have contributed distinguished service to the south african medical association of an extraordinary nature the winner of the Sama Award of the Year is Dr. Akhtar Hussain. I would like to call upon Dr. Akhtar Hussain to join us on the stage. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, this is a big thing for me. This is a great uh, recognition. What we do in public and private sector for the community, for the medicine, for the life saving. And this will motivate me to do more, reach out more. Welcome back. It is absolutely amazing to see what South African doctors have achieved. Let's go back inside and see who's next. We'll move to the next category of awards. Now, Bonita's House Call as a show cannot happen without those men and women who wake up every Saturday morning, drive to run back to our studios, spend an hour of their most valuable time, answer questions and SMSs from the viewers, and they do it for no remuneration whatsoever. And that will eternally appreciate. <laughs> I'm going to call upon the chairperson of the Board of Trustees of Bonitas Medical Fund, Dr. Jackie Rampedi, to say a few words and to remain uh, on stage to present the rest of the awards. Dr. Rampedi, over to you, sir. I am delighted to stand before you on behalf of the Board of Bonitas. Um, the Bonitas Medical Fund is proud of its 32-year heritage of supporting its members' lives. That is why we are a principal sponsor of the Summer Conference and why we support the House Call Awards. I would like to therefore commend all South Africa's doctors, specialists, healthcare professionals present tonight for your dedication and hard work. Thank you very much to the chairperson of the Board of Trustees of Bonitas Medical Funds, proud sponsor of the Summer Conference 2014, proud sponsor of Bonitas House Call Healthcare Television Show, and South Africa's second biggest open medical scheme that I'm told continues to grow from strength to strength. Thank you very much for that. Shall I, Minister, one last time, ask you to join us on stage as we present the last set of awards. He was born in Majaning, in Hamanskral, and matriculated from Barolong High School in the form of Putazwana, and proceeded to the University of Natal Medical School, where he completed his medical studies in 1985. Went on to specialize in internal medicine, obtaining an MMed from the Medunsa and then went on to qualify as a specialist physician, obtaining the fellowship of College of Physicians of South Africa. As a Lieutenant Colonel in the South African Military Health Service of the South African National Defense Force, he was bestowed the honor of being the leader of the team of 40 or so medical specialists who had to look after the health of former President Dr. Horitata Nelson Mandela. He lived, he breathed, and he spent the last eight months of 2013 at the bedside of one of the world's greatest statesmen and leaders, a duty that he executed with utmost dedication and selflessness. And we take this opportunity to say to him, thank you, Hangwe, thank you, Habid, thank you, Harar, and well done, and may you continue doing all the selfless work to Dr. Stefanis, Paul Komat, Dr. Komat. Well, I'm very humbled to be chosen for the award. But I believe that everyone out there has a chance 
to be in a position to can achieve this kind of achievements mm. and I encourage everyone who has got aspiration to be a doctor to know that these ach achievements are quite in reach. Our next recipient was born in April 1976 and matriculated at Arundile High School in Harare, Zimbabwe with O levels. She then went on to study at the University of Pretoria, first doing a Bachelor of Science degree and then continuing to complete a degree in medicine. She has passion for sharing HIV-related knowledge and answering questions around HIV counseling and stigma using social media as one of the most powerful platforms. And she has been able to engage thousands and thousands of young South Africans who are dealing personally with the various forms and challenges faced by people living with HIV. In 2012, she was recognized as one of the top 200 young South Africans by the Mail and Guardian. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in congratulating Dr. Cindy Siwe Fonseng. I'm very happy, I'm very honored um, to have gotten this award up there. I think uh, my passion is really for pregnant HIV positive moms who find themselves in a situation that you know, is, is traumatizing but I just need them to have hope and know that everything is going to be fine. So I'm very excited about this award. The next recipient qualified with an MBCHB degree from the University of Limpopo, formerly known as Medunsa in 1987, and went on to study general surgery, which he qualified for in 1982, and among others also qualified as an, in the American College of Surgeons. He's currently supervising a thesis titled Laparoscopy as the answer to generalized peritonitis. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me and join me in congratulating Professor Mudisa Goto for the continuous work that he does in La Proscopi It means a great lot uh, to me indeed. I think it's, it's not often that uh, it happens that uh, your efforts get recognized. Mm -hmm. But this really is uh, it's a huge uh, encouragement for me to, to do even better uh, in the future. Yes. At a tender age of 34, he became the clinical head at the Charlotte Mantlake Johannesburg Academic Hospital in the Department of Urology. He has special interest in neurourology and the prostate cancer, and is also the chairman of the Continents Association of South Africa, and also heads the academic committee of the Prostate Cancer Foundation of South Africa. Ladies and gentlemen, another recipient of the Bonitas House Call Hours, Professor Mohamed Hafiz. <laughs> I am humbled and I'd like to acknowledge whenever we have something like this, it's on the shoulders of others. Mm. And I think the important thing about an award like this, it brings men's health issues to the forefront. And there's a recognition that men have special needs. The next recipient of the Bonitas House Call Award, which is called the Lifetime Bonitas House Call Award, is a colleague who matriculated from Hebron College in Pretoria and went on to obtain a Bachelor of Science degree from the University of Fort Hare. He continued to study and obtained an MBCHB degree from the University of Vetvatersrand. He was appointed the National Chairperson of the South African Medical and Dental Practitioners Association, a position that he currently holds. And he's currently the esteemed board member of the Chris Honey Paragonath Hospital since 1997. And his foray in the medical fraternity has seen him become the Chairperson of the South African Medical and Dental Forum. Ladies and gentlemen, I have the singular honor of welcoming to the podium Dr. Pori Joe Mailan. You become encouraged to work even more harder mm. to assist the community and the South Africa at large. The next recipient started nephrology training at Johannesburg Hospital in 1967 and became consultant in the renal unit in 1968. He's also one of the pioneers of dialysis and kidney transplantation in South Africa, work that he started way back in 1967. He's also founder of the South African Renal Care Society, which he did in 1975 and the chief physician and professor of nephrology at the Johannesburg Hospital as well as the University of Edwardsland between the years of 1976 and 2001. And during this spell, he was also the president of the South African Renal Society on two occasions. Allow me please to welcome to the podium and congratulate Professor Anthony Mayers for the work that he's been doing this year. Well, I think 
It shouldn't be an award for me. It should be an award for the South African National Kidney Foundation. So I look at it not for my personal award, yes. I'm too old for that, but for the Kidney Foundation and all the doctors that work in the renal society and in, in the kidney uh, sphere. The last of the Bonitas House Call Awards goes to a recipient who unfortunately could not join us tonight as she is traveling overseas. She hails from a small town called Mount Frey in the Eastern Cape. And upon finishing matric, she studied towards a diploma in teaching. She went on to study a BSc honors, and then later got accepted to study medicine at the University of Vatvertonsrand. Later on, she continued to specialize in obstetrics and gynecology from the same university. And she's also among the first black female South Africans to qualify as a gynecologist from the University of Vatvertonsrand. The last recipient of the Bonitans House Call Award goes to Dr. Tandi Mzi, who could not join us tonight. I've been very blessed to have worked with an organization like Bonitas House Call, with the community, and also with my patients in private practice who have taught me a lot about humility. And I want to thank everybody who has touched my life, especially my education in terms of giving back to the community and also giving back to my patients. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the third phase of the event begins. Now, let's party. And after that, please go in peace and drive safely. You take care. Thank you. This is the party set, so we ask you to please make your way to the front of the dance floor. And join us. Well, that's a wrap on yet another successful event. We have so thoroughly enjoyed interacting with the medical fraternity, celebrating with the winners and learning from all of these incredible people. Be sure to join us again next year, but for now, I'm going to go party. that the awards get the television platform and they can be seen by young people in our country from all walks of life. Uh, I think they get inspired. People can dream because they would want to achieve and be like the award is today. These awards are just a bonus to them. But I understand them in the sense that it is to say to them, Yes, you are doing a job. Yes, we, are, we have selfless application, but somebody out there acknowledges the good work that you're doing and is ready to encourage them to continue doing the work that they've been doing. Join the